so here we are in week six of our physiotherapy exercise and physical activity course. Um, well done everyone who's made it this far through the course. We're very excited to be getting towards the end of the course um, and consolidating all the learning that we've done over the past five weeks. Um, I'm back here today with Anna Leo. We met Anna in week one. Hi Anna. Hello. Um, so Anna, you um, have been, we've covered so much over the last five weeks. We've covered um, physical activity around the globe, physical activity in our own countries, lots of different clinical conditions. And last week we looked at integrating physical activity into our clinical practice. So this week we're looking at um, bringing that all together um, and how we can become leaders in physical activity. So. Um, what's your advice to participants this week for bringing everything together in the final week of the course? Yeah, well, I can't believe that we're on week six already. It's absolutely flown and I've really, really enjoyed being a, a facilitator and I think um, the content's been challenging and there's been an awful lot of content and I've been so impressed with the way people have coped with it and contributed to the discussions throughout. So I've really enjoyed reading everybody's um, contributions. So um, it's been great so far. I really hope that week six will offer people an opportunity to reflect on everything they've covered um, and it has been a lot so it's just it's a, um, an opportunity to kind of assimilate all that information and to really think about how it applies to their own scenario uh, and I guess it's that balance between thinking about their own scenario and their kind of immediate clinical context but then also thinking about how that fits into a much, much bigger picture. Um, so hopefully um, the, the content that we've already covered in terms of how you actually integrate physical activity promotion into your clinical practice, hopefully that's quite fresh in people's minds. And so what we can now do with that at the forefront of our minds is step back and, and, and see the big physical activity picture. Um, and I know there's a big focus this week on the, the kind of system wide approach that we've alluded to throughout the course, but uh, we're going to unpick that in a bit more detail and, and really try to think about what what do we mean when we mean a systems approach um, so I'd encourage people to think about the kind of micro and the macro um, and and how they are centrally involved in in their immediate situation and then to really challenge people to think about the big picture as well and and we've kind of done that so you've set people a little task at the end of this week haven't you to mm. hopefully we're gonna um we encourage everyone to do the little video activity at the end of the week which is to um let us know how people might demonstrate their leadership in physical activity mm. do you want mm. to just um and give people a little explanation or encouragement to do that activity yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what I've asked people to do at the end of week six is to um, record um, either um, just audio or, or um, to do a quick video of themselves on a smartphone or something easy. Or I'm sure you can type it and submit it that way if, if that's not possible. But I've asked people to do um, like a three metre elevator pitch, um, advocating for their own role in promoting physical activity. Um, I think that we, well, you, you, everybody knows that I think that physios have an amazing opportunity in terms of physical activity promotion. Um, and I really get the sense that uh, a lot of other people feel like that from, from the discussions on the forum. I think people are becoming more and more aware of the opportunities that we do have to intervene at various different levels. But I often feel that we're not very good at communicating that um, uh, to, to other audiences outside of physiotherapy. So um, I'm hoping that it's an opportunity for people to really think about the I guess their unique selling points in their own clinical context so if they met a commissioner or if they met somebody um, who was um, very pivotal influential in in their service or funding their service um, then how would they in a three minute snapshot get the message across um, and so I've done an example and it's um it's harder than it sounds, um, but it was really challenging to me as an educator to think, actually, if I'm trying to influence somebody who um, who is important in terms of determining the content of undergraduate programmes, for example, what are the key points that I want to get across and how can I do that concisely in a way that's meaningful to them? So, so that's what I've, I've asked people to do. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this task because I think I really and I really encourage people to don't be scared of doing this video. We all hate doing these videos, um, but they're absolutely fine. Um, and what they do do is 
give us something to share with the world about physiotherapy. They're a great advocacy thing for physiotherapy and a great, great way to promote our profession. So I do encourage people to do them and um, hopefully we'll have lots of them and we'll be able to share some of them around. So that would be great. Um, so that's one of the final tasks of the week. And then just to finish off the course, um, just, to, just to talk to everyone a little bit about what they need to do, there are a few final tasks that you'll need to do at the end of this week as well. And that will be the final quiz, the post-course questionnaire and the evaluation form. And then also there's an optional assignment for everyone to do. And the optional assignment is completely optional to gain um, extra Physiopedia Plus points and a distinction from the course if you'd like to do that. So please feel do, do have a read through all of those and um, if you need any assistance give us a shout in the forums and we'll be there to help you with any questions that you might have. Um, and also just to let you know that you have three weeks to finish all of this. So week six will be for week six and then there's another two weeks to finish all the submissions of all the assignments and things. So. So good luck for this week and Anna, thanks so much for having a chat to us about week six and we look forward to seeing you in the forums.